Oh, I fold it. I fold it. Welcome back to the channel. Sure. Oh, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sonny and this is Sonny Kicks. All right, now check it. If you're looking for dope sneaker reviews, one of the best on peak shots, how to finesse the kicks, whether it be how to style, the best things to slice bread, True. or how to lace them up, or any other different sneaker related content, then you, my friend, are in the right place. Subscribe and join the squad. Batter up, lyrics and home runs out. Do this for fun, nigga. I'm Aaron Judge with it, tough with it. Burn it through pay bags if a slug hit it. See you pay, now it's time to pay attention. And without any hesitation, you already know what you're here for. Today, I'll be showing you a review and on feet of the Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread. Now the shoes do come in this black and gold Jordan box and it reads Air Jordan 1 Low, Gym Rat, black, white, size 11, USD was $90. That's crazy, $90, well, yeah, these, these look like $90. The best part about getting these was, I got them under retail. They weren't on sale or anything, they are, of course, $90. I did one of those surveys that, that you get on your receipt and I got a $10 coupon from it. And yeah, of course I threw it to these and yeah my total was literally i think it was 89 dollars like 89 bucks for these had to had to and now with sizing this is the tricky thing i would say go true to size but these are a size 11. i'm normally a size 12. in jordan one highs i wear a size 12. i don't know why i fit these perfectly like my toe is literally like like right up here like they if i take out the insole i have a bit extra sliding room but Honestly, when I was doing it on feet and walking around in them, my toes weren't scrunched up to the point where it was like, all right, yeah, no, I can't do these. Nah, it, it's weird. I don't know, but I'm going to try my best to go down with the sizing. So if you have a slim to narrow foot, I would just suggest going down half size. I only went, I only stuck to the 11 because it was legit the last shoe left. And because it fit, that's why I went with it. But if you're really feeling a shoe and they have a full size down instead of the half size, you could try it on and see if it fits you and then go ahead and buy it. Regular feet people, just go true to size, or if you want a more snug fit, go down half size, and wider feet people, just stick true to size and you'll be a-okay. I'm not even gonna front. If you know me or if you've been here for a while, then you know, I do not mess with Jordan 1 lows. I don't mess with any Jordan lows for that matter. It just doesn't seem right to me. It seems like that's more of like, I don't know, like the kids range and stuff. I don't know. I just when it came to the ogs when you had the og shadow one lows royals and breads i didn't like those didn't care for them i saw them sitting on shelves and on sale when they did drop still didn't want to buy them and for some reason i have no idea why this was just staring at me i'm not even gonna lie this is exactly what happened to me when i was in champs yesterday i don't know what it is i don't know if it's how that red pops out or if it's that narrow, like, triangular shape, or... In terms of release, I have absolutely no idea when he's dropped, because, yeah, Jordan 1 lows and mids don't have release dates anymore. They just, they just drop when they drop. But I will tell you one thing, that jump man on the tongue, not a fan of it at all. And now, of course, throughout the whole shoe is red, black, and white. Of course, you can mess up a black, red, and white colorway, but when you put it together like this, or, like, the breads and stuff like that, it's... It's tough to not it's tough to not want it. And the funny thing is, I wasn't even in Champs to look for Jordans or whatever. I was in there to look for Air Max 90s in the orange colorway. And of course, Champs did have those and then I just put up side to side the Air Max 90s and then these. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see what happened. Of course, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the leather quality is not that great on these. They are actually pretty stiff. But the leather quality is not what makes me want to purchase a shoe. What makes me want to purchase a shoe is the colorway. And the colorway, once again, is fire. But I can't knock them. If you are looking for an affordable Jordan to put into your collection or any affordable shoes, Jordan 1 lows are the way to go. With all that chit chat out the way, let's go ahead and see what these looking like on feet, shall we? We interrupt this program to bring you... Fear no man but God and that's barely Loyal to the fame and to the money whom I married I rap like Bruce Fight, it's hard to compare me I might be too nice for y'all to act scary I'm very sure I'm more than you can fathom I spit acid on the shit that you can't imagine Pen and padded, paper darkening from the ashes Of raw classes, class act full of madness 
I heard the early bird gets to work And all the feathers he can ever earn Cheddar cheese is what I must collect And word to I'll die for my respect Never been a sucker, Google that, that's a fact Earth would be detached before I dash with the scrap The plug hit me back, I can finally relax The pack's on the road, they arrive I can finally relax from the thrax in the capsule Told it need some space to my ass to the astrals for tuning into the video if you enjoy it please smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't yet what are you waiting for the grind is not stopping we're on that road to 2k comment down below what you think of these reverse bread one lows and yeah hope you guys all have a great day stay safe and see you next time